This is the home of the Dallas Cowboys. And since football season's so short, it can be tough to get in on game day. Luckily, the stadium itself knows no off season. Let's go. Hut, 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 hut. Pretty much any day without an event here, the stadium is open for tours. And whether you're a football fan or not, this modern day Coliseum is a sight to behold. It's huge, even by Texas size standards. The largest dome roof in the world, largest indoor display in the world, 10 separate levels, 1,600 toilets. The Statue of Liberty could stand on the field and not touch the roof. Craziness. And the guided tour is packed with people like myself looking for every nerdy detail. Guides take visitors to places I could never get into on my own, from the press box to luxury suites. Now I could get used to this. And then into the private halls of America's team and America's sweethearts. I'm sneaking into the cheerleaders locker room. Not really, because it's on the tour. You think these would fit me? I think so. And this crop top? Wait, no, 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 here we go. No, these are definitely my size. And of course, there's another very important locker room on the tour. <gasps> the Holy of Holies. The Dallas Cowboys locker room. Oh, man. All the players for America's team get ready for game day right here in this room. And then here are all the players I grew up watching. Michael Irvin, Jay Novacek, Troy Aikman, and then the great Emmett Smith. Their gear over there, and then check it out. Here's Miles Austin, wide receiver, tight end, Jason Witten, quarterback Tony Romo. Man, it's always been my dream to be quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys. And here, that dream comes true. Well, not really. But this is as close as normal trippers like me can get to the real thing. For a Dallas Cowboys fan, it doesn't get much better than this. I'm on the field. Can you imagine playing here in front of 100,000 screaming fans? Either cheering your name or booing your name, whatever the case may be. The sound of that. And I mean, look up. With these four screens, there's more jumbotronage hanging from this ceiling than anywhere else in the world. It's massive. I mean, this whole stadium is just massive. Since it's self-guided, visitors can stay on the field as long as they want, meaning it's time to play some pigskin. Beneath the air-conditioned sky of glass and steel and the turf of squishy green, two titans of tripping met to settle a score as old as time itself. One a veteran barbecue eater, the other, well, Exactly the same. We got a doozy for you here today, folks. Garner is at the line of scrimmage. And hut! Garner looks. Garner fakes the Statue of Liberty. Looks like he's going for the hook and ladder. Razzle dazzle, but the pressure's on by Garner. He's taking it himself. No, he's not. He's throwing down too. A catch on the wings of a dove. A valiant last stand. And then victory. 60, 70, a 99 yard touchdown pass to Garner. Touchdown, Cowboys win. Oh my goodness. Give him the MVP trophy, folks. We've just seen history. Ooh, I guess I need to work on my touchdown dance a little bit. I could truly stay here all day, but Arlington beckons us onward. To see the full episode or to get info about how to visit this spot, trip on over to thedaytripper.com. Or, here's some other videos you may like. Viacom Dios, amigos.